You only need to know me. I will be the one. The Will of D is one of the biggest mysteries of One Piece besides the One Piece itself. Why this letter or perhaps a symbol has typically been associated with a smile as people die. We'll get back to that. The initial D was first pointed out in Oda's SBS Questions and Answers Corner when he was asked what the D in Luffy's name stood for. Oda just replied to read it as a D for now and that he would reveal the truth behind it in time. This was the first time the D in Luffy's name was brought up, as well as Oda's first hint toward a bigger mystery. In the manga itself, Dr. Kareha was the first to mention the Will of D, when she revealed that the true name of the late Pirate King was not Gold Roger, but instead Gold D. Roger, and that Luffy, who shares this same middle initial, was a very dangerous man. This was confirmed by Gold D. Roger's name being changed to Gold Roger in an attempt to hide his middle initial D for whatever reason, after he had found the Laugh Tale and discovered the One Piece treasure left behind by Joy Boy. And just as the well government tried to do to Luffy's name after he defeated Kaido while awakening the sun god Nika to return Joy Boy to this world, maybe hinting that the sun god and the D are tied together. Maybe Joy Boy was the first Will of D carrier. Maybe even the first pirate, as suggested in the recent chapter 1114. Altogether suggesting that yes, this middle initial is too dangerous. The world government can't let people know about it. Or maybe the world government is afraid of what certain people will do once they hear that a certain pirate bearing these initials is causing trouble at such scale. And so an idea I want to introduce to the community is what if this is what Doflamingo was talking about during his Throne Wars speech. Doflamingo had grown angry at the mention, the mere mention of the middle initial D during Drizrosa, and Law's warning that the D would always bring another storm. Doflamingo's emotional response to the will of D suggests he knows something, and this ties into Dofi mentioning that the D clan is out there and will reveal themselves soon that there are other Will of D carriers who might not be pirates. They could be ordinary citizens just like Law's family was a family of doctors or even revolutionaries or taking different roles entirely. Ordinary people that know they too are D, simply waiting for the right time to reveal themselves. Could that time be now that Joy Boy has returned? Or are they waiting for something else? What if there is a prophecy out there that the D are those waiting for the rightful king to return to reclaim his throne? The empty throne is empty because it is waiting for the right person to sit there. Someone wearing or bearing the will of D. Or what if the prophecy says that only after someone finds the One Piece and becomes king of the pirates, only then will the D show themselves, rise from the shadows to answer the call of their true king for the final war Whitebeard said what happened once the One Piece is found, to take back the throne that was stolen from the ancient kingdom, maybe. And so, in that way, the will of D is the will of a king, the former king of the ancient kingdom, and the letter D stands for disciple, or it could be that the first pirate, Joy Boy, is responsible for this middle initial, and giving it to his friends. The D are the disciples of the true king of the world, whose throne was stolen, or the pirate king. Roger's name was changed then to remove the D, so that nobody would realize the prophecy had been fulfilled. The will had been answered and a D had finally reclaimed the lost treasure to become king again. One translation of what Imu told Cobra when explaining the will of D was that while the initial D is the moniker of his ancient enemy, in recent times, the D has become nothing but a faint echo of what it once was, implying a sound that had grown faint. Maybe the D does represent the drumming sound of Joy Boy's heartbeat, and so think of Drum Kingdom, alluding to the ancient kingdom, and so drum, beginning with the letter D. Drum could be what it means, tying into the drums of liberation, the sound of freedom, 
Over the course of 800 years, this sound was snuffed out. The music silenced. Oppression or slavery took its place. But let's consider some other ideas and go in a different direction. Will of D sounds like inherited will. And so the inherited will of the initial D. That initial seems to be shorthand for somebody's name or an important idea or message. The speech of Gold D. Roger as he walked to the executioner's stand, recalled by Monkey D. Dragon, linked inherited will to the destiny of an age and the dreams of its people, as well as freedom. Maybe the D stands for destiny. Remember your purpose, your lineage, followers, or descendants of the D-Clan. Or a dream kept alive for centuries ever since the Void Century. Remember that dreams are like a memory. So long as you cling to them, Joy Boy and the promise of the ancient kingdom will survive. Inherited will. Inherited dreams. Inherited destiny. Many think that the will of D can be inherited not just by blood, but by friendship, as Sabo recalled a time when Ace and Luffy gave him his own middle initial D. So, are there fake Ds and real Ds? Can anybody be a D? Those related by lineage or blood, and others akin to a guest in a house they don't belong to. The wrong address. What's more is while Joy Boy remains a mystery, his real name is also a mystery. Did Joy Boy also have the will of D? What family does he come from? When passing on the will of D to Sabo, Porcus D. Ace, once jokingly called Sabo Sa D. Bo, or Sadibo, Sad Bo. Think of the sad factory of Caesar the Clown, used to create artificial devil fruits. Now think of the sea devil, who created the real devil fruits. Now imagine an opposing force to the sun god. The sun versus the sea. God versus the devil. Joy boy versus sad boy or sad bow. This mention of sad bow is curious. The panel literally has Oda writing via Sabo a question as to why would he put the letter D there to form the word sad. When it could have been placed after Sabo to make it Sabo D followed by whatever his last name is. This scene is also juxtaposed with Imunarona's devil tail approaching, maybe hinting at what I just mentioned. The sea devil, also known as Sad Boy, maybe. Imunarona, the king of the world, versus the sun god, also known as Joy Boy, Monkey D. Luffy, the pirate king. Sabo has also been described as having a checkered fate, just like Trafalgar D. Law. Maybe further hinting that others have been given the honorary title of D, but there is an original D family. Or maybe every D has a checkered fate. But the first D family that passed on the name to others. Maybe the Monkey D family. Only because the name Monkey has been connected by some to the monkey symbols or monkey statues seen on the ancient artifacts of Skypea. Perhaps the original D clan. I've always wondered if Joy Boy had any offspring, any children, that had children and children of their own to carry on his legacy. Some have suggested the D stands for the will of Dawn, the will of the Devil, or even the will of Davy Jones, a historical or mythological figure or pirate. King Cobra mentioning the will of D alongside the Flag of Dawn supports the Dawn theory, the Rising Sun that the sun would one day rise again as a message to pass down to the future. There is a cover page that Oda uses in the same chapter where Emu's devil tail is revealed. We see an arrow sign that reads departure, and the arrow resembles the arrow of Emu's devil tail. There are also baby turtles being sent out to sea. Maybe this departure is from or some sort of banishment, persecution, the D-Clan departing because they were persecuted by the world government, hunted down. Anybody loyal to the former king of the ancient kingdom had to be eliminated. And so the D went out to sea and into hiding. Imu is portrayed as having a deep hatred 
or animosity towards those that carry that middle initial. Goldie Roger also has a move titled Divine Departure. It was passed on to Shanks True. And maybe one day Luffy will use the same move with his fist or sandals. But Departure, Divine Departure, the departure of the original gods or deities of this world may be divine figures. Or the god Imu banishing the D-Clan from their kingdom and taking the throne for himself. Could D stand for divine, the true gods? Or could it be departure or diaspora? A reminder of why they left their original home and went out to sea in the first place. Maybe to remind the D that they were once a family, a kingdom, and to one day find each other again to rebuild what was lost. Since Dr. Correa mentioned Chopper having teamed up with a very dangerous man when discussing the will of D, could it be that Luffy's full name is Monkey Danger Luffy, as if the D are marked to imply they pose a danger to the world? The D clan hinted at being allied with the ancient kingdom against the world government in the past. The D and the ancient kingdom were enemies to Imu, and apparently the D, who are alive today, don't know or understand the true meaning of that will they carry. What the D truly stands for. Core is on telling us some of this and that the goal of the D is to destroy this current world. And so the world created by Imu, since the Gorose call him the creator, the will of D stands in direct contrast to Imu's own will. The D destroying the world, alluded to in the present storyline with the Fishman Island prophecy of Monkey D. Luffy, or at least someone wearing a similar straw hat. The storm that the D will usher in is dangerous. Storms, foul weather, shifting currents. Could the middle initial D tie into the flood? Is it a warning for what happened in the past? Thinking about O'Hara's viral video from years ago about the One Piece being down below. Emphasis placed on the word down. Could down be the secret meaning behind the letter D? Some have suggested D might be a secret code to remind future descendants about what happened to the ancient kingdom. That the real world has been flooded. That the real world exists down below and Imu wants you to forget that. To believe that this world above is real, kind of like the Matrix. Continue dreaming. Don't wake up. The Flood also explaining why the Poneglyphs are made of indestructible stone, so that water cannot wash away the history written there. Also Trafalgar D. Law's full name is Trafalgar D. Water Law. So what if D is really a code for down and so hinting at down below the water? Maybe I'm reaching, but this is something I felt like sharing. Finally, the iconic smile of the D-Clan, and why the will of D has been typically associated with a smile as people die. As we first see the story of One Piece begin with the will of D at Roger's execution after he died, there is an SBS or ending bonus page from chapter 1 or 2 where some miscellaneous facts are provided to the reader. We see on this page on the screen here a historical lesson from Oda about the pirate flag also known as the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger is said to be a symbol of death. Some say the term Jolly Roger comes from the French Jolie Rouge, or Jolie Rogue, or Jolie Rouge as I said, or Red Lovely, possibly referring to blood. Another possibility is that Roger was originally the word Rogue meaning a thief or villain. And then there are those who say it's related to the expression Old Roger, which was a name for the devil. So let's tie all this together. Jolly Roger and so Jolie Rouge, and the mother of Ace Porcus D. Rouge. Roger is the first pirate we are introduced to and pirates are thieves, so the name Roger, Rogue, Thief. And as for Old Roger being a name for the devil, Roger was called a devil or demon during his time of piracy. Jolly Roger would mean jolly devil, and so a happy smiling devil, as some will of D carriers are largely known for, again when they die and as they lived their lives, always smiling and laughing. 
It's important to note that the proper translation of Corazon's words about the D does matter. For example, some read it as, In certain places, the clan of D have been called by another name, God's arch enemy. Notice God, singular, instead of gods, plural. Instead of the enemy of the gods, the celestial dragons, this translation implies the enemy of God. It can probably be read both ways, but one way is most important. If D stands for devil, and so the will of the devil, that would make the most sense as the devil is depicted in the religious scriptures as the arch enemy of God. And so those that carry the will of D are devils and dare to laugh or smile at God. But we know that the script has been flipped and the devil appears to have become God. And so the devil might be persecuting God's followers, the D clan. Taking us back to the divine departure theory, many characters that are good have been wrongfully and intentionally smeared as devils when it'd be better to view them as angels. However troublesome, pirates that wanted to be free instead of serving the world government. And so angels now fallen. But back to the iconic smile of the D-Clan and why the will of D has typically been associated with a smile as people die. This would be the opposite of the sad bow or sad boy we discussed earlier with Sabo and his will of D. Smiling and so joy. Joy boy may be originating this will of D. Let's first address the Buddhist concept of Nirvana. There is a belief that death isn't real. That there is no such thing as death as popularized and feared in mainstream discourse. So there is no need to be afraid of something that is not real. Something that will never happen. Death is a sort of Plato's cave. Mind you, it is said that the Buddha said the following about death. The body is perceived to be a teacher of impermanence. The historic Buddha himself sought a condition that could not be shattered by death. What? Following the experience of his loved ones growing old, Buddha realized that whatever is born must die. Imu's name is implied to mean God or Buddha. Imu is believed to be immortal, like Buddha, reaching a condition that could not be shattered by death. Imu can no longer die. And yet it is those that were willing to die that we most admire. Those that faced the uncertain end head on without fear. Roger, Whitebeard, Ace, and so many others. There is a contrast Oda is drawing here between the beauty of brevity and the ugly underbelly of eternity. The final villain of One Piece is immortal for a reason. As if immortality is somewhat dark or villainous. Roger told Rayleigh he wasn't going to die. For a dying man, though, Roger was so joyful and unafraid. Almost like he knew death was not the end. But instead, death is the next great adventure. A new journey to look forward to rather than cry about. And Nell told us that for humans, death is the ultimate fear. That death is essentially a god. Or rather, the fear of death. And so fear itself is God. It is not God or Imu that people are actually afraid of. Some of the D-Clan are portrayed as unafraid of death, smiling as they die. God has no power over them anymore. The D-Clan refuse to kneel or bow to Kami, to Imu. In this way, just as Luffy's rubber opposed the God and Nell's lightning, the D-Clan opposes the Celestial Dragons and are said to be the gods or gods' natural enemy. But that statement from Corazon fails to capture just exactly why the D are natural enemies. For the Anel parallel to continue, the D need their own natural resistance. Maybe the D really does represent a smile, a reminder to not be afraid, that there is a hidden message behind that grin, one that an immortal man that ran away from death could never understand. The D are unafraid of death, that they are not afraid to die. If you do not fear God, then he is left powerless over you. 
Fear of dying is how a world government would in both reality and fiction control the masses. But if you are willing to forfeit your life, or if you really believe death is not real, it is simply the next great adventure, then you have nothing to fear at all. A smile that pierces darkness, a joy greater than fear. And it's safe to say the most fearless character in One Piece is none other than Monkey D. Luffy, the greatest threat to Imu, whose reign as the king of the world is predicated on those below the red line, living in terror of what lies above. But as usual, we will have to wait and see. And don't forget to like the video, comment with your thoughts below, and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter at the following address at Villain Ragnar. My Twitter page is on the screen. Also check out my other One Piece channel called Vinland Leaks, where I'll be reviewing the One Piece chapters again, as well as turning your comments into videos. I won't be covering spoilers there anymore, so it should be safe for you to subscribe. And check out the One Piece news channel D News, where I'll be covering any breaking news in the One Piece community. Again, links will be in the description box and pinned in the comment section below. As always, there is more to come. Until next time.